Hello, and welcome to my office. My name is Dr. Susan Mara, and I'm a naturopathic doctor here in Seattle, and I specialize in chronic tick-borne illness. And one of the things I'd like to talk to you today about is two neurotransmitters. One is known as glutamate, and one is known as GABA. Let's start with glutamate. Glutamate is an excitatory neurotransmitter and tends to rev up the brain. We oftentimes um, are, are, are experiencing um, excitotoxicity from glutamate when, um, for example, someone is having seizures. And uh, when, when the glutamate becomes elevated, the brain goes into a state of excitotoxicity among other things that are going on. But for example, when you have tick-borne illness, you're in a state of immune excitotoxicity. And the, the state of being in an immune cytotoxic state can sometimes increase glutamate. And you can oftentimes see seizure activity. The other neurotransmitter I'd like to talk to you today about is GABA. Gamma amino butyric acid. G-A-B-A. -A. GABA is a neurotransmitter that is responsible for inhibition in the brain. So you, you see a balance oftentimes among all of the neurotransmitters, but in particular between glutamate and GABA. Glutamate is very excitatory and GABA is inhibitory. Uh, when, you're, when you have low GABA, you oftentimes will experience anxiety, insomnia, depression. And um, the way that you can test for um, low GABA or high glutamate activity is you can use uh, serum fatty acids, serum organic acids, urine organic acids, and urine, urine neurotransmitter tests. And through that, you can figure out what neurotransmitters are out of balance. I've only chosen two of them to talk to you today about, glutamate and GABA. Glutamate actually is, is one of the precursors of GABA, and it requires the enzyme glutamic decarboxylase in order to transform into GABA. So you can see that this is the biochemical reaction when you want, to, you want to maintain a level of equilibrium between glutamate and GABA in the brain. GABA is um, formulated in nutraceuticals, but I've recently found out that GABA is not well uh, transported across the blood-brain barrier. In other words, we can't get the concentrations high enough when you take oral GABA. So it's probably not the best way to increase um, the GABA levels in the brain. Uh, also with glutamate, the amino acid that is the precursor of glutamate, glutamate is called glutamine. Interestingly, glutamine is one of the most important amino acids for lining the mucosal lining of the gut. Now, this might not seem too important to you, but many of the neurotransmitters are actually produced and secreted in the GI. So it's no wonder that there are elevated levels of mucosal glutamine. So oftentimes, um, oral administration of, of glutamine, which is very well absorbed, um, can help with um, balancing this chemical equilibrium between glutamate and GABA. So I hope this information has been helpful to you today, and thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.